So Sean Hannity had his uh, what is that Bo Deedle right? He's a former he used cop, to be a cop, or and now he's but he's been like a private detective. He's some type of quasi celebrity. Yeah. So here he is, Hannity with Bo Deedle and Geraldo. Uh, Daryl Parks, I believe. And they're having a and Daryl Parks. And um here they are having a very, very um restrained conversation. Let's all say they were bad and they killed those gentlemen. Don't they deserve they the due process of law? Or should we hang them from a but, tree? But more importantly, can't we all agree that what we want tomorrow is the President of the United States to go to these five families no, in Dallas all due respect, and say, Aldo, I'm sorry you know something? this happened to you. How about he apologizes to the officer in Ferguson? But, they, but, wait a minute. But why, can't, why, can't job because say, the why can't he be the healer in chief? Because he's, he's not a good he divider. But you've got to give him a chance. He's going to Years Hold in. on, I got the answer. I got the, the answer. Why doesn't he talk to Chief Brown? Let him talk to Chief Brown. I challenge the president to, to talk to Chief Brown of what the problem but is. And the problem is not though. the cop. The problem is the environment when 70% of black uh, children don't have a father and they're, they're being the brought up by a mother. It that is, is an it issue. Is part of the no, issue. Yeah, is is I got a question for Geraldo. Inappropriate for the president to meet with the head of Black Lives Matter based on what they have said and the chance I, they I made. Do, it I do not think it was inappropriate. I think it was. What I what do you think is what I what do you want there? Seriously? I want the president to be the racial healer. He's been eight with years a racist 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 in judgment. Mr. Constitutional uh, Attorney. Why, he's why a can't he, time why can't he go to he was wrong Why can't he go to these families? Why can't he go to these families and say, I'm sorry this happened to you. Thank you for your oh, service. Okay. How about he, we're how one about country. he apologizes to the cops process. for rushing what the you, judgment? What are we going to have? When is he going to apologize to the cop in Ferguson? Do we really want this country split black and white like this? He split it. He should. The cop in Ferguson. Ferguson doesn't have a job anymore, right. and he didn't do anything. Okay. We just contemplate the idea of a country which became an economic power. I'm going to get really cucky and uh, regressive here. Became an economic power because of, the, uh, of slavery, because of the free labor and lives it stole from a whole group of people. And the idea that at any point in our history, it would be up to them or the, their perceived representative by Sean Hannity and Bo Deedle to bring the country together. The slaves have to make peace with the masters. Can't what we, uh, can we do? We brought you over. You built the freaking country. Now you're going to give us a hug. I love how it's, it's President Obama's failure. We were not divided until the black guy decided he was actually going to become president. Everything was fine. And then he has to decide that he's going to be president. Stay in your lane. You had Michael freaking Jordan over here. Everybody loved him. Everybody loved him. You didn't see white people going around saying it's not fair. How come Larry Bird doesn't get all the shoe contracts? How come there's no Larry Bird steakhouses? You didn't hear that? We were fine in giving them the NBA. It was very generous of us. We gave the Moolies the NBA, and now they want the Supreme Court. Now they the want the presidency. Come on. Now you're there. You got to bring everybody together. Frankly... You need to come together in a position where you don't date my daughter. I mean, I don't know if folks have looked in a history book, but the extensive images of black police officers hosing down crowds of white people, they're very difficult to find. I'll tell you where those images are in my imagination, in my <laughs> fantasy life. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hose down whitey. Unbelievable. Akbar. Even Geraldo, who's the supposed, like, I guess, liberal voice there, is like, President Obama, I'm just sorry he hasn't been able to bring people together. As if, like, he's like Merlin. It is quite, but it's also, I mean, Paul Waldman had a good column on this. It is impossible by definition for President Obama to bring people together. 
because of Fox News and Republicans from the beginning. They didn't, without, has there ever been a moment where Sean Hannity said, hey, you know, I mean, De- Democrats always did that with President Bush, Are you Bush, suggesting right? that in the run-up to the election, when people like Sean Hannity were calling him the magic Negro, that in some way that inhibited his ability to bring people together? On some level, but I know that that's very cuck of me. God, the cucky. Jesus, you guys are pussies. <laughs> President Obama is practically putting a bounty on, on our fine men in blue. And you are here encouraging him in your liberal stronghold. Drink Chablis. I hope you are killed by Nation of Islam members. Cox. Chris Lepako, Bernie Sanders is a fucking sellout. Chomsky's a sociopath. <laughs> Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us. <laughs>